Well, I'm Joe Loveless from New Star. I want to thank you for joining me today. You know, every year we congregate at Velocity to, uh, to talk with partners, to talk with colleagues, and to talk with uh, companies about how we can improve the delivery of our online performance. Now, New Star is a company that provides the tools to help you do that job. But New Star also understands that there is a bigger connection. There is a connection between what you're doing and into the larger cause of why you're doing it. And that thinking drives the services that, uh, that we look to uh, provide to you. So over the next nine minutes, or nine minutes and 20 seconds, we are going to connect some dots, and we are going to talk about something that Newstar refers to as website performance theft. Now, any discussion with website performance theft has to begin with understanding that the world that we're in. And we tend to take this for granted. We tend to take it for granted that the world is online and we know this. That's why we have our jobs and so on. But it wasn't that long ago when we could hide web performance behind four walls of glass protected by Halon. Customers were connecting through 56K, ISDN, uh, low-end uh, DSL. That's not the case today, right? That's not the case today. Ubiquitous broadband, consumers with powerful devices unleashed with an enormous amount of competition. Two billion people have gone online. And of course, and I say this guilty as being a marketer, marketing followed. Because when consumers went online, marketing went online. And when marketing went online, businesses started putting brand and revenue at stake. They started posting reputation online. And now you're not hidden in a computer room, right? Your competitors are benchmarking you. You know, everyone's looking at you. Customers are seeing you. And with the enormous amount of customer choices and the blend that we're seeing from market leaders, look at some of the large retailers taking an online presence and now you're taking your iPad into the store to talk with technicians. This blending of online with in-store, just in retail alone, is talking about this new world that we're in. And this creates something that Newstar refers to as the performance paradox, where performance is both differentiator as well as mandate. And that's why we're all here at this conference, because we have to balance that content to the larger objective of what the company or the organization has put forth. And yet we have to make sure that we're differentiating ourselves from our competition. So we start there. Now, this is, these are the results of a recent research study that New Star conducted. And in this particular case, 117 respondents from a cross-section of about a dozen industries, everything from e-commerce and financial services to media and advertising, and all the way down into, uh, you know, hard, excuse me, hard-level technology, and even to an extent, manufacturing. 85% of those that we surveyed and talked to said that, yes, online presence is at risk because our revenue is at risk and the online presence has to be tended to. But why is that? Well, that's because of how websites are being used. 73% told us that they're using them to generate new business with customers. 62% of those told us that they use it to communicate with existing customers. That was actually a surprising number with the diversity of CRM programs and CRM technologies and social, the fact that websites are strategically, uh, strategically being used to be able to communicate with, with existing customers was an interesting statistic to us. But it also pointed out another fact, and that to us was that, although not buying entirely into the premise, but is there really such thing as an existing customer today? Because we're constantly fighting against competition. So when we combine the risk of, of what's happening with an online presence relative to revenue and reputation, and we look at why that risk exists because of use, we had to start quantifying it. And in this same study, on average, we're told from you that one out of three dollars in annual revenue is generated from website transactions. It is no surprise that website transactions are the, the biggest source of growth for companies today. If you look at large retailers, and they're notable ones, Web sales are up, in-store is down. Leaders are blending online with in-store. But one out of three is a big number. This is something that is transcendental for us, right? We are not talking about revenue contributions from websites like we were just a couple of years ago. We're talking about a dependency. In e-commerce, that number is very high. That number is like 100%. With nonprofits, that number is around 20%. 
seeking you know, funding where the majority is communication. But on average, one out of three dollars. And what's interesting is that when you boil that down and say, well, are we quantifying the cost? When a much larger group across those same industries, what Newstar found and what you told us was that 12% of you said, you know, it's one to 10,000. We quantify one to $10,000 an hour at risk depending on uh, relative to availability. 17% put that number well over 10,000 into 100,000, 200,000, and we saw you know, notable outages in the last two years to where that number is about one million per hour. And in talking with a lot of you over at the New Star booth and even on the floor, we're hearing the difference between 20 milliseconds. We're hearing what performance means to you in realistic financial terms. And that is the tie that we have between revenue and performance. And to that end, the way that Newstar interprets this, this, this particular reality that we live in, what robs a website of performance steals from the bottom line. You are connected to a higher purpose, regardless of industry, uh, regardless of you know, nonprofit, regardless of commercial, but it's performance theft. And Newstar is here to put an end to it and to help you find and fix problems that inhibit your ability to be able to execute that, that job that connects to the higher purpose. Newstar offers a full set of, of website monitoring, which includes synthetic as well as real user measurements, which are absolutely critical. Real user to be able to interpret inside the gaps as well as interrogate into the gaps in terms of real-time problem solving. Synthetic to give you that baseline. Synthetic to be able to provide that understanding of how you're performing generally. We also help you provide, or also help you prevent problems. Load testing, right? Total perspectives, and both inside and outside the firewall, and to be able to validate problems. What you've told us is that chasing false positives is a problem and it's expensive. I know a lot of people in this room have to deal with problems that don't exist. You're told they exist, you investigate them, and you find that they were anomalies. They weren't actually problems at all. New Star validates. We'll go through and test from zero to five times, depending on what your, you know, what, uh, your, your particular flavor is. You can test and validate those errors. So your people are acting on real problems. The other thing that's come from this new platform that, that was released last year, which is built on the Selenium framework, supporting all the way up into 2 for WebDriver, is the fact that we have a rules-based intelligent alerting engine. It's decision-making and it's action-taking. And the reason is that alerting to us, and we're glad to see that alerting is proliferating with more and more uh, vendors and you have more choices for alerting. To Newstar, alerting is just a ticket to the dance. Of course I want the person that's responsible for a problem to know that the problem exists. I need that communication. But what if I can actually remediate and fix the problem before I know that I have it? Well, that's what Newstar does. So let's look and walk through this use case. In this particular case, you're used to seeing this error as a 501, 502. Uh, in our system, we'll deeply categorize that, and we put it as a 900. But it's in this particular case, an e-commerce server up in the Elastic Cloud that has a DNS problem is unavailable. Now, now you know, again, you know, we'll alert you. We'll send you the email. You'll be able to go in into the system. You'll be able to see the error. And you'll be able to do what you do, which is to investigate the problem. But what good is knowing you have a problem if you don't understand the context? And that's what's driven us to actually develop deeper tools so you can go in and quickly get to the nitty gritty of what is driving that problem. And here you can see, not only do we identify the problem you can drill down into, but we identify in the script where that error occurs. You're quickly down to where the issue is. Well, that's fine, but let's talk about remediation. Remediation is being able to interpret that data of that problem and invoking a contingency action. And in this particular case, spinning up another instance of the e-commerce server so that you're running. So the problem you're investigating is offline and your customers don't see that. This is where we want to elevate the conversation that goes from passive monitoring, data collection, load testing, into one of business continuity, contingency action. I want to let people know that a problem has occurred, but I need to service those two billion people. Uncompromising, empowered, unleashed people online. And that's what we do, and that's what we offer you. 
but you get to go back and you get to validate. We offer the tools so that you can go back and validate that the changes and the fixes that you made have actually occurred in a state in which you desire them. Whether they're automated, and through the automation, we, we leverage the REST architecture and can delegate that remediation directly or actually request it from a third-party tool. We can leverage the existing investments that you have in third-party remediation tools, hardware, software, application services, to be able to keep you running. And that's all about elim eliminating performance theft. I'm Joe Loveless with Newstar, and I thank you so much for your time.